Hello and welcome to this video update. It's been some time since you and I talked, but the news that I bring you today is so exciting I just had to share it with you. Now you know as I entered my state of the state address in 2012, I said my most important job was to make sure anyone in Mississippi that wanted a job had one. We went to work immediately. This year alone in 2013, we've been able to create over 3,400 job opportunities. Now, a lot of that includes Yokohama Tire. We're very proud to say that Yokohama Tire will be bringing their North American manufacturing facility to West Point, Mississippi. We worked six months to make sure that we were able to bring that manufacturing facility to Clay County, Mississippi. Now, 3,000 counties across America wanted that plant they came to Mississippi. As a result of that and other successes we've had like GE expanding their second jet engine plant Ellisville, Mississippi and many others, we have won some awards. Mississippi, for example, has been selected by the American Legislative Exchange Council, we call it ALEX. We have been rated in the top 10 for 2013 for economic development opportunities as a state, the top 10. Now just imagine that of all the states in the nation, we're number 10 and moving forward. We've received the Area Development Magazine Silver Shovel Award. Now we've received this before, but this is the, this is the state that attracts the most business. States that have groundbreakings, and therefore the Silver Shovel Award comes to the state of Mississippi. Too great. Last year our growth led the southeast. We grew by 2.4% in Mississippi, pacing the national average. Our economy in Mississippi reached $100 billion for the first time in Mississippi's history. Now those are things that you need to be proud of. And just day before yesterday, Kauffman Foundation ranked Mississippi as number five in the highest number of entrepreneurs. It rates our entrepreneurial activity as number five in the nation among the states. Now look at the success that we've had. Just yesterday I was in the Delta breaking ground on the only second Grammy Museum in the nation. One in Los Angeles, California, and one in Cleveland, Mississippi, adding to our creative economy. I could go on. Roxel is a wonderful manufacturing facility that will be making stone wool insulation coming to Marshall County. As we talk to Stennis uh, Space Center, 34 of the satellites in outer space are there because of the propulsion systems, the engines, if you will, manufactured at Stennis Space Center. We make four UAVs. Our aerospace industry is growing in leaps and bounds. I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. Because when I get out and tell you I'm going to work to do something, we go to work and make sure that it's accomplished. Now, this is a team sport. Brent Christensen and his team at MDA has done a, have done a remarkable job of helping us achieve this. The local, the mayors, the supervisors, all of those that are involved. In Mississippi legislature, the speaker, and the lieutenant governor stepped up and said, we are going to lead the nation. And in fact, that's what we're doing. I thought you might want to know. We'll see you next time, and thank you for joining us on this video update.